Hello everybody, this is Ian from Scilabs, and today I'm going to be going through a very brief example workflow for creating a production singularity container in order to showcase the utility of writable sandbox directories. But before I do that, if you don't know how to build containers with recipe files, feel free to check out the link to our previous video at the top of your screen. So today I'm going to create a container that runs this Hello World Python script. This is a very simple example, but more complex workflows can be very tedious to get correct with the recipe file, so using a sandbox directory to help you prototype your final container can be very helpful. In order to get my hands on a sandbox directory, I'm going to build an Ubuntu container from Docker Hub like normal, except I'm going to use a sandbox flag on the build command. So I'm going to use sudo singularity build minus minus sandbox. Then I'm going to call this Ubuntu underscore s and then I'll specify the docker URI as colon slash slash Ubuntu. So now we have this Ubuntu directory and this contains an entire Ubuntu OS and we can interact with it like any other singularity container. But before I do that, it's a good idea to write your recipe file as you develop in your sandbox so you don't forget any of the steps you made in development. So we're going to start writing that in another tab. Vim I'll call it singularity.recipe. And since we already know that we're going to be using an Ubuntu container as our base, we can already fill out the header information. So I'm going to say this is bootstrapped from Docker. And I'm going to say from Ubuntu colon 18.04. Save that and we can head back over to our other tab. So now we can see if we can run our Python script in our container. So I'm going to use singularity exec, our container, and then our Python command. And it looks like we can't because we don't have Python installed in our container. So we're going to have to install this ourselves. So we can do this by shelling into the sandbox, but it's important to remember that you can't escalate your privilege inside a singularity container, so it's also necessary to enter as root if we want to do something like package installation. So we can use sudo singularity shell, and then we're going to use the writable flag in order to make sure that the changes we make within our shell stay, otherwise singularity will just throw out all the changes we make when we exit our shell. So now that we're in our container as root, I'm going to try and install Python. but we run into an issue. So I'm going to try updating the package list first. And I'm just going to cut to the end of this. And now I'm going to try to install Python again. And I'll cut to the end of this as well. It looks like this worked, so I'm going to record what I just did over in our recipe file before I forget. So we can make our post section and add our commands. And that should be good for now. So we can go back to our other tab. And now that we have Python installed, we can just exit out of the shell. And now we should be able to run our Python program in our container. And we can see that it works now. So now that we know that we have Python working in our container, we can finish up our recipe file. So now I'll add a file section, and I'll copy over our Python script into the root directory of our container. And then I'll specify a run script to run that Python script. So that should be it for our recipe file. So we should be all set to start building our container. So we can use sudo singularity build, name our container, I'm going to call this Ubuntu, and then specify our recipe file. And we'll start building our container. I'm going to skip to the end of this so you don't have to watch all this output. So we can see it built without any issues and we can run our container. And it prints hello world just like we want. So this process of working with the writable sandbox while writing the recipe file for your production container is a great workflow, especially as you make containers with very complex behavior 
since even a single error in your recipe file will halt the building process and it may not be trivial to debug. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.